Ken Halicki with the WKBN 27 First News Forecast. Definitely a pleasant Sunday afternoon today. Temperatures, well, they were great. We got into the 70s, official high 73 degrees for the day, and tomorrow we're going to follow suit. We're going back to the 70s. We'll still see some sunshine out there during the day tomorrow too, but clouds will start to increase tomorrow night. That's ahead of what will be our next storm system. It's also going to take away some of these warmer readings that we've had though. We're sitting at 71 degrees currently and it's a southeast wind 9 miles per hour and it'll stay light through the overnight, but also temperatures. They're not going to be quite as cold tonight as they were last night. We got down to 35 for the low last night and uh, for tonight we're looking to go right to the lower 40s. So these numbers that we're seeing here, most of us in the 70s now will start to fall as the sun sets and we'll be into the 50s here later on this evening and then going through the 40s into the overnight. But uh, we do have another warm day for tomorrow. It's going to be cooler by Tuesday. That's due in part because we're going to have some clouds and some rain around. We're also going to have some cooler air following a storm system that will begin to push into the area Monday night into Tuesday. And this is that system that I'm tracking currently. It's not looking very impressive here, but you see how there's this line of showers goes through upper Michigan toward Wisconsin here into Iowa. Well, this is a frontal boundary that's going to move through and this will continue to slowly track off to the southeast behind it is where all that cooler air is. So that will follow this rain and it will start to develop here by Tuesday overnight here, rather Monday overnight into Tuesday. So tracking that for you tonight, notice temperatures they are falling through the 50s and by the time you're headed out the door tomorrow for work or school, we're looking to be right around the 40 degree mark for those morning lows. But notice still not much in the way of clouds, still looking for a lot of sunshine to start our Monday. Now later on through the afternoon, we'll start to see a couple of clouds around, but by the lunch hour, we're back into the upper 60s and we go back into the 70s by 6 o'clock. That drive home from work, well, we're seeing temperatures showing 70 here. We should be a couple ticks warmer than that, looking for about 75 degrees for that afternoon high. Now, this is when things start to change. Notice the clouds, they start rolling in Monday night. By 11 o'clock, temperatures in the upper 50s. We won't see temperatures fall too much Monday night, but we will start to see some showers developing. This is a look at two in the morning, and rain sticks with us for the overnight, and also into the daytime hours Tuesday. We'll start to see uh, showers becoming more scattered, though, later in the day Tuesday, and then we start to dry out Tuesday night into Wednesday. So, 41 to Tonight with mostly clear skies, 75 Monday, sunny early, then those clouds increasing, and we'll see that rain developing Monday night, 57 degrees. Could have some rumbles of thunder with it. Scattered showers Tuesday. We'll see falling temperatures through the day and a little cooler Wednesday, 51 partly sunny skies. The next storm system that arrives late Thursday into Friday, but we'll be back to 70 for Friday.